Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Teacher, mm -hmm. my sister sends you to ask for permission because she is staying working in Apollo, Apollo guys. Apollo guys. Because okay. she doesn't think she can be in the one one on one session okay. today. Okay. And if you can change it. For tomorrow, safe. Okay, let me check what can I do. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. Hello, good evening. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, everybody, welcome to the class. It's a pleasure to be with you tonight. I hope you had a very good weekend and that you rest a lot. So the good thing is that the Monday it's almost done. So we just finish the class and then go to rest, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, the class of tonight is going to be uh, this one. Is 2.0 for tonight. We don't have a homework. Okay. Remember that there are two classes, one homework, two classes, one homework. Okay. And as we usually do, we are going to check about the attendance. So, Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Alejandra Michelle Hueso Najera. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present teacher. Good. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Hmm. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Maybe Coromoto Garcia de Calderón. Present. Good. Manuel Antonio Palma. María Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Silvia Suleima Rodríguez de González. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good evening. 
Good evening. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Mm -hmm. Present. Perfect. Very good. So welcome to the class once again, and we are going to start. So ah, Adriana is coming. I'm going to check on her. Let me just do something here. Okay. Good evening, teacher. I'm evening. here. Welcome to the class. Thanks. Perfect. So uh, we're going to start with a little video. So let's see how it goes. Everybody, let's check. This is the one. Okay, as usual, when we watch a video, um, we're going to watch the video, check what do you understand about the video, and then uh, give your opinion or comments about the video, okay? So, here we go. Private teachers, group classes, speaking clubs, online courses, conversation partners, language exchange websites, and so on. There's so many things we have access to these days to improve our speaking skills in English. But let's assume that for whatever reason, you can't do any of that. Well, because it's different for each person, we all have different circumstances. But you really want to be able to speak English or you really want to or need to improve your speaking skills. And your only option is to do this on your own. So what do you do? How do you achieve this goal? I have videos where I mention or talk about this way, but let me just briefly summarize it for you and remind you about how you can improve your speaking skills significantly all by yourself. But first, I want to get into a couple of the most effective exercises to work on your speaking, and then I'll tell you about that one best way to improve your speaking by yourself that I swear by. My number one go-to exercise that I recommend to everyone is shadowing. If you really make yourself do it regularly, I promise you will see amazing results. This exercise works wonders. If you want to learn more about it, you can click the links in the description to watch the videos where I talk about it. Next, I recommend that you practice your speaking using my dialogue videos. A little self-advertisement. Based on the feedback that I've got from you guys on those videos, I can proudly say that this method has helped a lot of you to improve your speaking. In those videos, Videos, we basically have a conversation where you and I have our lines and I say my line and then you will see your line on the screen and you need to read it out loud off of the screen as if you were answering me. And I also perform the full dialogue for you. It's easy and fun. Another way is to find dialogues online and read them out loud. Oh, and before I forget to mention this, you need to speak out loud, I hope it's clear, because there is no chance of improving your speaking if you don't speak. These two exercises that I just suggested are easy but so effective. Easy because you don't need to come up with your own sentences. You have everything all set and done and ready for use. Effective because the more you actively use the language, the better and easier you learn and memorize things, including grammar, sentence structure patterns, vocabulary, everything just falls into places on one condition of course consistency and one more exercise that will help you tremendously not only improve your speaking skills but also learn to think in english is to answer questions or speak on some topic in english freestyle answer whose questions you might ask well google's Search for IELTS speaking test questions or small talk questions, which, by the way, will come in very handy. Now, let's get to the one very thing that you probably won't like, but you will need to do in order to really improve. This way is truly the best and tried and true. You will need to record yourself speak. Nowadays, we all have phones with cameras, so this shouldn't be a problem. I know, I know. Awkward, awkward, awkward. You feel awkward recording yourself and speaking to yourself. First of all, nobody has to see those videos. Second, you'll get used to it. But believe me, you need this. You need this anyways, but especially because you're working on your own and there's nobody to correct you. When you listen to yourself back, you can catch your mistakes that otherwise you wouldn't even notice you make. 
whether they are pronunciation or grammar mistakes, and you can correct them. I'm telling you this from my own experience making YouTube videos. You won't believe how many takes I needed to take at the beginning to say something right. I could completely butcher a word or the whole sentences, or for whatever reason, I could drop some words from a sentence or my intonation was totally off and consequently the message wasn't properly delivered. But at the moment of speaking, I didn't realize that. I thought that everything sounded pretty good. But when you listen to yourself back, you can catch all of that, analyze and correct. And the more you do this, the less you eventually need to do this. If you don't know what to talk about or find it difficult to structure your thoughts, you can start with dialogues. You can come up with them by yourself or find them online. Or again, you can use my dialogue videos that are called Speak English With Me. I'll link the playlist with all of those videos in the description. So you can use those already put together dialogues. You can record yourself reproducing the full dialogue or you can simply answer me just like the video suggests. Moreover, this way you will have something to compare your speech to. Another great way to improve your speaking by yourself is to use the app Elsa Speak. They are sponsoring today's video and they couldn't be more appropriate for the topic of today's video. Elsa Speak helps you improve your speaking and pronunciation in English exactly by means of recording yourself speaking. You can work on individual sounds, separate words, and full sentences. And the most awesome and useful part is that the app gives you feedback on your pronunciation with an explanation of what exactly you need to work on. So you don't even have to analyze your speech yourself. And there's a lot more cool features. I think that signing up for Elsa Speak can be a wonderful New Year's gift to yourself or to your friend or a family member, especially signing up for their premium membership. You know, to kickstart the upcoming year by taking a step towards achieving your speaking goals. Which, by the way, is something that I'm planning on doing. I will purchase the premium lifetime membership for my mom. She's really struggling to find a way to practice her English and her speaking, and Elsa Speak will be perfect for her. And you can download it right now for free and get seven days of pro membership for free. The link is in the description and in the pinned comment. And now I'll show you how it works. So when you're choosing what you want to work on, let's say linking sounds, first you get to listen to how the words need to be pronounced. This is. And then you'll practice saying them and you'll get feedback on how you did. This is. And if you did make some mistakes, you can click on the words and you can see them. And of course, you can practice as much as you need to master that particular word or sound. And of course, as usual, I have an exclusive discount for you guys to get 85% off of Elsa Lifetime Membership and 40% off of a one-year membership. All you need to do is just click the link down below in the description or in the pinned comment. When you read dialogues out loud, don't forget to record yourself. When I worked with people on their pronunciation using shadowing, I swear, people would always drop words out of sentences they just heard or the ones they were reading, or replace them with some other words and they wouldn't even notice that. You can also choose a little fragment of any video or podcast where a native speaker speaks. You can practice that fragment and you can recreate it on video. Again, it's important to record yourself because we make mistakes or drop words not even realizing it. And of course, when you're just speaking freestyle, just expressing your own thoughts, you need to record yourself. This will help you identify the things you need to work on. If you don't know what to talk about, you could think of this. Sometimes there's things we want to say to others but can't. And just saying them out loud to yourself helps to get this burden off your shoulders. This can be really therapeutic. Recording yourself is a very powerful tool that I suggest everyone use, even those who work with teachers. Establish an everyday speaking practice routine and get into this. A couple of months of doing this will be worth years of studying English by means of tests. 
Plus, this is a very good way to keep track of your progress that in turn will help you stay motivated. Okay, that's it for this video, you guys. Thank you for watching our videos and supporting our channel. And we want to wish you a happy new year. And let's make 2023 a lot better than 2022. So okay, what did you get from the video? A lot of techniques to improve our speaking skills. Very good. So, yes. Yes. And the first one was the shadowing and how to make shadow. It's a, it is more steps. You can, more, more ways. And you can use of dialogue spiders. In them, you are repeating what they are saying. You can record on your voice. And uh, she has um, she has a uh, she has spoken about dialogues online, where we need to speak out loud, and uh, also if we are able to record our dialogues, maybe we can catch our mistakes and correct by our own. And she has also very strong recommended to um, to use the dialogues uh, and apps that support us to repeat out loud. And um, if we do it every day, we are going to improve our speaking skills. <laughs> <laughs> very well, perfect. Thank you, uh, my baby. That was very complete. And yes, there are lots of things that we can do. I mean, uh, there are uh, nowadays one of the advantages that we have uh, is that with the technology, I mean, we can do a lot of things and you can practice by yourself, meaning that, yes, yeah, sometimes we don't have somebody to, to practice with. So uh, it's, it's a way. I mean, there are ways for you to practice and improve. Any other comments or opinion on the video? Sorry, Sorry. No, you, Susana. You. I really like the option when when she proposed you recording yourself when you speak in English. Is a is a practice. I never do that. I really don't like it. I don't like listen my voice. I don't like it, and I, I don't know how make better with that. Okay, so very good. So that is a very good thing. Actually, is one of the best things that we can do. Uh, I mean, when we speak, we just speak, right? Sometimes we stop and think. What is the word that we want to say? Is this correct or not? But sometimes we just speak. And it's a very good idea to listen to yourself. But sometimes we don't listen to ourselves. That's why the recording part is very important. Because in that way, I mean, you can compare. Imagine that you have a little video, a short video, and you see the pronunciation, and then you, you record yourself. You can compare, right? You say, mm, I don't say that word the same. I need to improve this or this other thing. So... That is a very good thing as well. Good, Ada. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, I understand. Uh, she's talking about the different methods that you can use the, to learn English, and among them are in practice and um, watch the video and. And the, and the more important is the practice, practice pronunciation and invest, investigation, the words, different vocabulary. Very good. So, yeah, you are right. There are many things that we can do. Uh, vocabulary is very important, right? So we need to, there are many ways for you to get vocabulary. For example, you can uh, read a book or read a little bit about something that you are interested in. The important thing is that you understand the words and then try to use them, try to reproduce them. It's not only to say, oh, this word means this one. But if you never use it, I mean, 
it's not going to stay in your mind. So we need to use the words. Uh, if you don't have somebody to practice to, you you can write uh, sentences or paragraphs or things like that. Very good. And uh, Rose, you were going to say something. Yes, it was it was very interesting. All the tips that she said. Um, also, I was downloading the app Elsa. <laughs> okay. Yes, yeah, I'm looking. It's That's very nice. Good. I think I think that it will help me. Yeah. I'm going to try. Yeah, I'm going to try really after good. the class. <laughs> Maybe I can sleep practice it. <laughs> yeah. No, but I I there are, nowadays there are many apps at the app store, but some of them that are basic and you say no, it's not for me. We need something more aggressive, I think. <laughs> yeah. That's the, that's the way, the only way that we can we can learn much and uh, we can have enough vocabulary because uh, I think that my uh, my weakness is that I I know some words. But there is, there are another words that, and um, never in my life, I, I have never listened in my life, and I say what? But it, it's interesting because when I when I listen a new word, I I take notes, and I go to the dictionary, and I try to understand the meaning. Sometimes um, I I have doubts, but uh, it's the only way. Looking for new words, and I don't know, maybe maybe one day uh, we can speak like maybe <laughs> she speaks very nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Her pronunciation is very good. She speaks yes. very fluent and very nice. I so. like it. Yes. <laughs> and that's why sometimes I bring some videos because, as I was telling you before, sometimes what happens is that. Uh, you uh, are speaking, I mean, when you speak with the teacher all the time, you understand, uh, I mean, what I say, because you know the way that I speak, the pronunciation and the intonation. I mean. But videos also provide that kind of thing, provides um, different like inputs, uh, so you recognize different. Actually, I have a, a video, another video that we're going to check later on, that is a very good, a very good exercise about that one and there are many many um applications many apps nowadays that you can use i don't remember one there was one that was very good that it shows videos of real people i mean you can watch a video of um barack obama for example uh, speaking about something and you see the words and then you can record yourself and compare uh, that was a very good one because it was a real conversation right it's not just a sentence so yeah, there are many things that we can do. Uh, I guess I told you before also, I mean, uh, if you don't want to get a, an app, you can uh, open a document uh, from Google, uh, Google Doc, and there uh, you will find an option that says record. So you can dictate to Google. And then, I mean, the good thing about that one is that if you don't, use a very good pronunciation the word is not going to be written correctly right so that is a very easy uh, way for you to do it. i mean you have a reading or something that you want to say and then uh, you just dictate to the to the document the words are going to appear there and and that's it it's very easy very simple you don't have to pay for an application i mean there are many things that we can we can use so uh, this class this week we are going to be speaking about that one how can we improve english or or many other things related to that one so it's going to be like free practice in the whole week in general things okay good good perfect so um i have a question for you uh why are you learning english i mean what is your main objective i know that some people they want to travel some other people they want to have a better position what is your motivation to learn English? Uh -huh. It's for my work. 
because I think it's a it's a good it's, it's a plus in my in my curriculum. How do you say curriculum? A uh, resume. Oh, okay, in that and um and my principal goal is don't don't feel fair when talking. I really difficult for talking when when other people listen to me. Okay. Yeah, sometimes it happens when we are learning English. I remember with the very first time that I was speaking in front of American people, it was kind of difficult because I mean I, it wasn't my work. I had to present some figures and things and that one. Uh so yeah, sometimes that happens. But if you continue practicing, of course you can achieve that one. And, and that is good that you have a purpose. Like I mean, if you uh, say because of my work, I mean, you need to understand things or communicate with other people from other countries. That is a very good motivation. Nice. Any other person who wants to uh, say something? I mean, my way was saying, I mean, chat GPT is something very nice. Actually, we're going to do an exercise with chat GPT later Yay, on. Fine. Uh, we can also use BART, that is from Google, that is another artificial intelligence. It's a little bit different because is more exclusive for business, but it's a very good option as well. Okay, Bart. Bart from yeah, from Google. Okay. Okay. Any other any other comment on why are you learning English? I'm learning because I like it. All my life, since I was in seventh grade, I I like it, and all the time I start but I never finished. But today, I hope I finish. I know that I I can so much, but I try to, I try to, I try to learn. I try to learn because I like it. In my job, it's not necessary that I, that I can speak English, but for myself, for me, it's my dream. It's my dream to speak, speak a fluency in English. I think that I'm learning by myself because I like it. Oh, that is very nice. I mean, when you you have a motivation that is like your personal because you really want to achieve something, that is a very nice thing. So you are able to, to motivate yourself and move on. And there is no pressure, right? So that is another good thing about that, that you do it because There's you like it. First girl, I had the opportunity to travel to the U.S. the next August. And yes, I I am going to San Francisco, and I I hope listen to the native persons. Maybe I get scared, <laughs> and I say what? <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> I, for example. Uh, Maybe I, I can defend myself and I and I and I can ask what is some place? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Very good. So yes, yeah, that is a very good thing that you are going to have the experience to practice with people from other country in other country. Um you need to be a uh, patient because sometimes I mean they they don't know they don't care. I mean they they don't know that you are from another country and that you don't know very well English. So they speak and speak and speak. But if you tell them, I'm sorry, could you please repeat or slow? They they know. They know they need to slow down and things like that one. So, and the good thing is that you can record. A suggestion for that one is that you can, uh, if there is an experience where you uh, found uh, something interesting or something that you didn't understand, you can write down some things and try to figure it out later on because that is real vocabulary, real world. Vocabulary. Here, for example, we can speak about many things, but that is day by day uh, vocabulary. So that is a very good, and it's a good experience because you will be able to speak with many people. That is nice. Nice. Any other comment? Any other person that wants to share? Yes, I am always trying. I am always trying to improve my English skills uh, speaking. But you know, I think um, at the moment the most important uh, goal is to refresh my English because uh, my daughter is getting married in December 
and she has a lot of guests from the United States, and they they don't do not speak Spanish, and also and also we we are getting guests from Ireland, two girls from Ireland, and it will be very very exciting to to be able to chat with them. And mm -hmm. yes, and I, I've, uh, I've said to you that we used to uh, to work with Chinese with a Chinese company. We we import some products, and then we need we always need to to be able to to make us understandable with them in English. Okay, very good. So yes, I mean that is a, again another good experience because. Uh, you are, I mean, it's very nice because you will be able to speak with people from different countries and you will see how different they speak and things like that one. So, uh, yes, it's, it's very interesting uh, that everybody has different motivations, you know. That is something amazing because I guess that everybody's here because we want to learn English. Because the reason why, I mean, might be different, but there are something that is pushing us, right, to, to do something. And uh, when you have like societal um, meetings, uh, like the one that you are going to have, it's also very nice because it's like fun to speak with other people. Good. Any other person wants to share why are you learning English? It's good because you don't pay. It's free. Oh, yeah. Here is a very good, nice thing. that That's why we need to take advantage of it, right? Because, I mean, it's, it's something that a lot of people, they're waiting, for example, right now to, to start or continue, and we are here already. So that is a very nice thing. Very good. So we're going to do a little exercise. Teacher. Go ahead. Thank you. In my case, teacher, my motivation for learning, learning English, um, the first, um, it's a skill uh, that I I need to to improve my work. Um, for my a uh, career, for my plan of career. Is necessary because in general the in general the guidelines for my profession the first language is English. The old methodology, the first version is English. And my co-workers they are in, in 64 countries in around the world. And it's frequently in meetings with them. And I need to, to participate at meetings. And the other point is um, for travel. Uh, I believe that the English open the doors in different countries because um, in general, independent of the country, I believe that always you find the people uh, who speak, speak English. It's for practice, but convenient. And I believe that is very important because um, open your mind because the traveling is a good experience of the life. Um, it is important for the food, for the other, for the general teacher. It's important to to have the the good tools for communication with, with the other people. This is my opinion. Thank you. 
very good perfect thank, thank you. you actually you say something very important communication right so that's why we are here because english is the the language uh, where you can use to communicate everywhere about anything so uh any any place that you go i, I mean in europe there are some places that they don't like but they have to use english i mean uh, even if they don't like it uh, if you say i mean i speak english i don't speak french or portuguese they need to so that's the way it is right and uh, yeah your job is very interesting i used to work for a bank as well i remember i mean uh, we had the accountant uh, all the all the thing from the accounting and we had to yes. transfer that to a for the um, headquarters in germany we exactly. need to to transfer everything into English. So that is very important, right? To understand many exactly. things. Very good. Yes, the old, the program program of training, in my case, is in English. And okay. it, it's very important, my participation, because when you participate, you learn more. <laughs> That is, that is so true uh, and uh, yeah actually that's why i was telling you to to participate in class is very important right because sometimes what happens is that this is the only moment where we speak english in the day so we need to we need to go and jump right do it so actually sometimes i do these classes this is not part of the book but i like to do it because uh, it's different and we speak a little bit more so very good anybody else wants to share anything else Me, teacher. Okay. Mm, in the beginning, mm, I started learning English because my job descriptor say um, I need um, almost intermediate level English. And we job with three languages, Espanol, English, in Frances. Okay. But I can only Spanish. <laughs> um, introduce um, a team, a platform team, and you can translate. But you is, well, me, it's more slow because I need to uh, translate every single uh, conversation. And when I can say something is a very slow, is more fast if I learn English. Okay. Yeah, definitely. That. that is that is that is very important. Yeah. I mean to understand, I mean communication again, right, is very important. So if somebody says something and you understand it's much better than thinking I'm going to translate. Even though nowadays we have apps for translating in real time. Have you ever seen those? I mean, somebody speaks and they tell you it's not a hundred percent accurate. So that is the big, the first problem. And also, I mean, it's better when you speak with somebody else in, instead of thinking what is the translation of something. So very good, perfect. So we're going to do a little activity tonight. So please, my friends, get some paper and a pencil. A pencil and a piece of paper, please. Okay. A pencil and a piece of paper, everybody. Good. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a dictation. I'm going to dictate you something. I mean, it's going to be very easy. It's just a paragraph. Um, it's going to be like this. I'm going to say two or three words. I'm going to repeat that several times, four or five times. And then I will continue. I will also dictate the punctuation, comma, period, anything like that, okay? Uh, at the end, I'm going to read the whole paragraph. So you can check if you got everything. And then I'm going to show you uh, here on the screen what was the, the paragraph, okay? Do you have any questions before we continue?
No questions. Very no good. Question, teacher. Nice. So let's do it then. So here we go. Let me just go there. This is the one. Okay. Here we go. A business. A business. Can be described. Can be described. Can be described as an organization, as an organization, as an organization or enterprising or enterprising or enterprising entity entity that engages that engages that engages in professional in professional comma commercial commercial or industrial activities or industrial activities or industrial activities period there can be there can be there can be different types different types different types of businesses of businesses depending on depending on various factors various factors various factors period some are for profit some are for profit. Some are for profit. Comma. While some are, while some are. while some are non-profit 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 period similarly similarly Similarly, comma, their ownership, their ownership, their 
ownership also makes also makes also makes them different also makes them different different from each other from each other from each other period for instance for instance for instance comma there are there are tall proprietorships tall proprietorships Tall proprietorships, comma, partnerships, 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 comma, corporations, corporations. corporations comma and more and more period business is also business is also Business is also the efforts, the efforts, the efforts and activities and activities and activities of a person of a person of a person who is producing who is producing who is producing goods or offering goods or offering goods or offering services services with the intent with the intent with the intent to sell them to sell them to sell them for profit for profit period okay now i'm going to read the whole paragraph so you can check okay a business can be described as an organization or enterprising entity that engages in professional commercial or industrial activities 
there can be different types of businesses depending on various factors. Some are for profit, while some are non-profit. Similarly, their ownership also makes them different from each other. For instance, there are sole proprietorships, partnerships, corporations, and more. Business is also the efforts and activities of a person who is producing goods or offering services with the intent to sell them for profit. And that's it. Okay, now I'm going to show you. Okay. What we're going to do is uh, we're going to circle the words that are not correct. Okay. So I'm going to give you a few minutes for you to check into that one and circle the ones that are not correct.
Okay, I'm going to give you a few more minutes just for in case yeah, you haven't. Okay. It's okay. Okay, very well. Let's check. So the first question I have for you is, who had no mistakes? Anybody had zero mistakes? Okay, that's fine. Who had three or less mistakes? I. Good, very good. I my do. Friend. I have three. Very good, nice. I didn't know that word proportion. Ah, okay. So that is another thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, for first of all, before we check into the vocabulary. Okay. All right. It, it doesn't. It doesn't matter if you made a lot of mistakes. Okay. What is important is that you realize about the mistakes that you do. That is okay. very important, right? That I mean, sometimes what happens uh, is that you don't remember the word. Another thing that happens is that sometimes you don't know the word. I mean, it's not possible for you to write the word if you don't know the word, right? Mm -hmm. Another thing that happens sometimes is that uh, pronunciation is important. So you need to understand how is the pronunciation of all the words. Okay. So uh, it says a business can be described. Described. I believe that that might be a problem because of the ED, right? That's what I, I did no. it very well. Described. It's what, it's what, right? As an organization or enterprising, maybe. I believe that that is another word that may cause some problems. Enterprising. Okay? Entity might be, not that maybe. much. No. So for first of all, let's, let's go and check uh, all the vocabulary. Enterprising. What is enterprising? In English, of course. It's a company. It's like a company. Very it's like good. a company. Very good. 
And what is entity? Uh, entity? Do you, uh, in do you want it in English? <laughs> yeah, in English. In English. <laughs> Can be described as an organization or enterprise entity. Entity is like in a structure. Okay, yeah, it's like a structure for a company, right? It's like an in the uh, um, entity. Say, an entity is like a like a person, but in this case, it's not a person. It's like the whole organization, right? The whole organization entity. Okay, engages maybe may cause a problem also. Engages, what is to be engaged? To be engaged to to are going to get married? Well, that is a way, but actually it's a commitment that you do, right? A commitment. Yeah, when you are engaged uh, with a person is because you are committed to that person for the rest of the life or until mm -hmm. the divorce, right? Commitment. <laughs> and uh, commitment uh, in this case, Engages is like uh, the commitment that people or that comp companies have, right? Person so that word, selective. that word might be might be different. Might be something that makes that sense. engage professional commercial. It, it's it is more like when when you read the the sentence that engage in professional commercial or industrial activities. It's it is like more um, specialized or the Fight. Maybe it could be something like that in this situation, yes. Yes. Okay. Let's see, professional, commercial, or industrial activities. activities. There can be different types of businesses. Different types of businesses, yes. Uh, businesses is important because it's a plural one, right? Remember that plurals are different from singular. It's not the same to say yeah. business than businesses. Okay. I attract or involve. And okay. then it says, depending on various factors. Some yes. are for profit. I believe that that was good. For profit. What is for profit? When you when you have uh, when you win money with it. Exactly. When you utilities. Yeah. yeah, financial utilities by the end of the year. Okay. I have I have a, a mistake here because I didn't write a, the script. For is this guion is a script? Uh, that is dash or hyphen. Oh, dash. I didn't yeah. write the dash. Okay, that is fine because I didn't mention that one. So you can say for profit separate. Most likely okay. the, in English, sometimes it happens a lot. Sometimes there are words that are separate for a dash. Uh, dash. That is something that you need to remember only. Okay? Uh, it was not an in, 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 in error. No, uh, I mean, it's not an error because I didn't say it. Ah, okay, okay. But uh, from now on, if you if you read or you want to write for profit, it's going to be like this. If you're okay. talking about, uh, uh, yeah, if you're speaking about a company. And the okay. same happens with the opposite, that is non-profit. What is non-profit? Without utilities by the end of the year, the we utilities are going to dist be distributed you know, uh, with uh, with the uh, organization, Very and no distribute by each of the uh, members. Perfect. So that is uh, nonprofit is when you work because you want to help people, and there is no uh, margin of utility, right? As you say, and then it says similarly. I believe that you don't have any problem with that. Similarly, there, uh -huh, maybe here, yes, because sometimes what happens is some people they write. They, they are, they right. Uh, so, but this is there. It's not the same there than there, right? Mm -hmm. It's a little bit different in the pronunciation. But also, remember that you need to to check the context of the sentence, and then you understand, right? Then you understand because the word is not difficult, but you can confuse that with other words. So that's what happens. So. This one is going to be their, their they. ownership. What is ownership? The ownership, I know it, but proprietary. Proprietary, very good. So it's proprietary. The the person that owns something. Uh, right. uh, the person that owns 
And then it says also makes them different from each other. I believe each other might cause some problems as well. Each other, okay? So one and another. For instance, what is for instance? For example. For example, very good. So for instance, there are soul. Ah, this might cause some problems. Yes, right. yes. So yes, I write soul. It was my mistake. It's what it was one yes. one of my mistake. I yeah, write soul. And, and what <laughs> happens is that is that um the word is not that common, right? So that is the problem. So if you don't know the word, uh, you don't know what word is it. Uh, and yes, I mean you have to write something. So pro yeah, probably you write it. soul, but it's yeah, it's right. <laughs> soul. And uh, do you know what is the meaning of soul? Alone. Alone. Only one. Only one. Very good. And the other. But one... I, di I didn't know it. I have. I have uh, to seek uh, for it. Ah, okay. <laughs> Very good. Yes. Yeah, soul is just one, right? And the other word also might cause some problems because the writing is very special, right? So it's proprietorship. Proprietorships. Uh -huh. Proprietorships. Uh, so that may cause some problems because of that special way that you need to write. So, so, and that is like ownership again, right? So uh, partnership, what is a partnership? When you are engaged with another one to make to to achieve something, very good. Alliance, an the, ally. one ally. Ally. Very good. So yeah, that is a partnership when you are committed with other person to, in this case, create a a business, right? A uh, corporation is something very similar. A corporation is like a group of companies together, right? That is a corporation. And Morris's. Business is also the efforts. What is efforts? Uh, the efforts and activity of the person. The efforts is uh, what you aim to to achieve. Very good. So efforts is like when you work for something, right? When you yeah. do sometimes sacrifice, I mean, many things. And activities of a person who is producing goods or offering services with the intent. What is the intent? Uh, the goal with the right. intent. It is the goal, uh, the mm -hmm. objective. Something like that. It's the intention. The intention to okay. sell them for profit. That will be it. Very good. Perfect. So nice. Uh, so we read that already. So check about the pronunciation, check about the writing. And also it's a very good thing for you to see how you can write a paragraph. I mean, the paragraph, they have different parts, right? Uh, the first line is almost always the introduction and then uh, it's explaining some other things. So that is also very, very important. Do you have any questions about this? Interesting, very good practice. Okay, very good, nice. Yeah, next week we are going to repeat the activity, but the difference, the difference is that I am not going to dictate. One of you is going to dictate. So, but that is going to be the next week. So let's see how it goes. Good, perfect. Now, um, we're going to continue and we're going to watch- Teacher, Next week what? Sorry. Yeah, next week we're going to repeat a dictation but the difference is oh. that i am not going to dictate one of you is going to dictate oh okay yeah i want to i want to check into that <laughs> okay so we're going to continue with a little video that is very interesting uh, actually we were speaking about how accents are different so this is a little game that we're going to do okay so let's see how it goes I'm going to show you a video and I'm going to be pausing it. So the video contains different uh, people speaking in different accents, meaning that there are people from around the world speaking English. And you have to guess which country they are from. Oh! Let's see how it goes. Are you guys ready? Uh, do you have any question before the activity yes. goes on? No. 
Let's do it. Very good. So here we go. Yes, teacher, I don't understand. Okay. I'm going to play the video. And you are going to listen some people speaking. I'm going to pause the video and then you are going to try to tell me which country are the people from, depending on the accent of the people. Okay. Very good. Perfect. Any other question before we move on? Okay. So let's do it. addictive they're not without risk disorientation and dizziness as well as feelings of nausea and paranoia can also be experienced it also affects the lungs because obviously it's it's ingested that way and can cause spasm in the throat uh, and uh, when somebody uh -huh. which country do you believe they are England England <laughs> everybody yes. agrees yes, England. yes. I think. <laughs> Everybody agrees? England? Only the first one, the lady, the, the another one was not from England. Okay. Was not from the UK. Let's see how it goes then. So the okay. number one was? Irish. Irish. They're from actually very close. I mean, I mean England and Ireland, they're very close, but they are, I mean, the accent of some regions on the Irish people sometimes is very difficult. For example, do you know how do, do they say yes? They don't say yes. They say oh. I. 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 Uh -huh. So you say, would you like some pizza? I. <laughs> That's what happens. So sometimes it's kind of different. So let's go to the next. And my name was not establishing at all. Uh, in, in my time, I think I will call it as a golden era. Mm -hmm. Heroin survived for a longer time, not today. Today it is just two, three years and then they are over. There's nothing wrong in my life that I have to hide something. It's open. Ah, India. Uh, India. 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 Everybody agrees that's an Indian? I understand very well this accent. Yes. <laughs> it's like Sofia Vergara. Like India. <laughs> oh, okay, Latin American. <laughs> okay, so some people say Indian, some other are in a different way. So let's see, let's see. Yay, Indian. Yeah, they have a very... I mean, there are some words that they say, and they, you know, they're from India, right? Like when she says wrong, I don't know how they say it, but they say it in a very specific way. And you say, ah, oh, you are from India, right? But this girl, she speaks very well. There are some Indian guys that you don't understand anything. Anyways, <laughs> let's go to the next one. Every fault of my own, I managed to skip Italy. So as I was going through, I didn't even notice until when everyone was saying, what about Italy? And I was like, oh damn, snap! I missed Italy, so that's my bad. Sorry about that. Um, as for Armenia and Bulgaria, you know, I started... What do you think? Germany? Germany. Okay, that's I good. I did, didn't catch it. I didn't catch it. Okay. So Germany. Maybe, maybe, maybe European, but not American. Okay. European, but maybe. not American. Uh -huh. I don't know. Um, not say Londres. Uh, England. I don't know. How do you say England? Yeah, that is England, yeah, English. Okay, so let's check. Let's see. Uh -huh. 
Very good. That was English from London, actually. Yeah, you made it very good. Accurate. Nice. Good, good. Let's go to the next one. To be muddled by my knowing too much about. I want to generally know what the case is about. And we come, we do the cases. We start at 9.15 in the morning, and we usually finish by 3.15 in the afternoon. And we've done a week's worth of cases in that day. Okay. Sounds like an American. American, okay. United States. I agree with that, American. Okay, American. The United States. Let's see. Yeah. That is actually from New York. You know, it's different if you speak with somebody in New York and, for example, in, in Georgia. I mean, that is totally different. Or, tex accent. or Texas. Oh, Texas is different. Oh, yeah. my God. The people in the north as well. I mean, if you speak from people from Nebraska, for example, it's very different. So that is very interesting. Yeah. But sometimes you are able to understand that they are from the United States. Let's go to the next one. Nice. You get a few awkward ones that either don't know the way home or they just want to you know, stay on the mountain. So it's a little bit more difficult with the weather being so hot to shift them. The dogs get tired very quickly. The shepherds get very tired. <laughs> exactly. Okay. What do you think? Russian. Russian. Russia. How do you say Suiza? Switzerland. Germany. 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 Turkey. No. German, from Turkey. Turkey. No, no, no. Turkey. From South Europa. South Europa. Uh -huh. Teacher Israel. Israel. Oh, okay. A lot of guesses around the yeah. world. That is interesting. <laughs> Let's check. Italian. Arabian. Welsh. Welsh. Oh. That is from Wales. Wales is yes. uh, there in Europe, you know, very, very close from, from England as well. But it's mm -hmm. different. You see that the accent is, is not English. I mean, it's not from England. No, 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 no. no, it's, no. it's different. Yeah. You know, that is, is not uh, powerful. Let's go to the next one, my friends. Who is the is I don't know who is Welsh. Welsh is from Wales, Gales. Uh, unit Kingdom unit. It's part of the United Kingdom, yeah. Good. Thank Very you. Very good. Nice. Now I really appreciate you coming in on such short notice. We were given an anonymous tip, and so we did a random search. And found in your son's possession the following. Oh, I, I'm telling you, it's not mine. Shut your mouth. <laughs> what about this one? Oh, I don't know who far, but is United States. United States. Very, very strong accent. Yeah. Uh huh. And the rest, what Some do you think? Some kind of Europe. Europe. Yes. Italian. 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 Okay. <coughs> okay, let's from check. Europe, but... Huh? From Europe, but I don't know. <laughs> from Europe, but you don't know from which yeah. country. Okay. Here we go. Jamaican. Jamaican, not Europe. Okay, fine. Imagine that I mean the Jamaican people they also they speak kind of strange. You know, I mean, it's because it's not like the regular English, right? Sometimes. I want um, a strong accent. Very yeah. strong accent. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Let's go for the next one. My husband and I, I mean, we inspire each other all the time. It could be daily things where we're both on a workout kick and we inspire each other to, you know, be focused or just really anything. We really talk it through with each other and get each other's advice and just help motivate each other. What do you think? Very American. <laughs> American. Everybody agrees on this? 
it sound for me very American. American. Okay, let's check into that. Yeah, and that is from California. Okay. That is, yeah, that is where a lot of Salvadorians are right now. Okay, so let's check into the next one. Esmeralda or do you know what I would love to do actually if they ever did this isn't Disney but if they ever redid um Prince of Egypt yes because I've seen the they've done the musical for it now in the West End so if they remade that into a film I'd be down for that you know what I mean talk to me about the, the Prince what do you think oh about? my god I think I can I I can achieve to speak clearly <laughs> <laughs> Anybody want to guess? Nobody. All right. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes it's difficult. English. I mean, England. From uh, There is an, a region on the north that is called Georgie. So you see how different they are, right? Totally different. Let's go for the next. Let's see. Designing. If you're a good website designer, then what you want to do is you want to be able to work with someone who understands SEO, search engine optimization, or understands Facebook advertising, or maybe they're a very good salesperson. Now you can focus on just doing your website design and somebody else can be focusing on doing the SEO and marketing side of things. What do you think here? I don't sure about this. Oriental, I know. Japan mm. or no Japan or something like that. Or something. Sounds like, sounds like the American. American. <laughs> American. No, American. Yeah. American. Okay, some people say American and you say from Asia. Let's see how it goes. Very good. Asia. Singapore. That is Asia. Very nice. Hey, you have a talent for this one. That's good. <laughs> okay, so let's go to the next one. For the TV shows. <laughs> and uh, that's been a calling card for us this year. So proud of that. Proud of our uh, group for standing together. You can see a big moment in the game for me, you know, uh, regardless of score. Uh, tough hit in the corner, and then Tanner's able to stand up to uh, one of the toughest guys. What do you think? Uh, hi, anybody? America. American. It's difficult sometimes, right? <laughs> Let's see if Wendy is right. Very good. American North Central. That was it. Good. Let's check the next one. Like almost like the one, the one hardest ingredient at school is like if the kid's happy, like you've got all the permission to do everything else. I was really happy, but nothing else happened. And it was a bit of a weird one as well, because like when I was at school, like dyslexia was never really, it, you were either almost blind. What do you think? I don't show, sure, but he's like um, Van Damme. Van Damme is speaking that I don't know his who is Van Damme, but okay, he speaks. <laughs> yeah, he's from I I guess he's from Belgium, something like that, from Belgium, something like that. Uh, but I don't know. And the people, what do you think about this accent? Let's check them. English from Essex. A lot Excuse of... me, my ma but my internet is falling down. Okay, no worries. That is. Fine. I am Welcome reconnecting back. with my cell phone. Okay, perfect. Very good. Welcome back. Okay, so let's check the next one. And they just sung me like a traditional song 
as I got off stage and I was already emotional, I just started bawling my eyes. It was like such a nice way to finish the night. They just sung this beautiful song like as a gift to me or something. It was just so beautiful. And uh, yeah. What do you think? Chinese. German or the Russian? German or Russia, Chinese. Sounds like American. <laughs> American, okay. We all are, all are American. American. Let's see, let's check it out. Australian. Australian. <laughs> all right, very good. So let's move on to the next one. To finish off this look, I take a couple of sections on the top of my head and using a paddle brush, I tease the hair to create a little bit more volume on top of my head. Last but not least, I do a quick final spray of hairspray and we're good to go. What about this one? I'm not sure, but I have a partner in from Burkina Faso and so on, like, but I don't know. I'm sorry, which country? Burkina Faso. Africa. 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 Yes, it's a partner in like some. Something like that. Equal. Something like that. Let's check it out. Maybe from Asia. Asia. South African. <gasps> oh, very well. Very well. That's good. Hey, you are very good analyzing that one. Very nice. South African. Let's check the next one. Maya, just like Gcash, they are both digital platform that you can pay bills, you can cash in, you can withdraw, you can deposit, you can do anything, you can pay online. Did you know that, guys? PayMaya offers both virtual and physical card. So, what do you think about this? Huh. It's an America. It's it's a it's a Latin America, I think. <laughs> Latin American, okay. Yeah, for me it's a Latin American. Good, good. Mm, last year, have a movie. I don't know how to translate, but it's in in to all parts of the world. I don't know what it was like. I don't know. Always like Oriental. Ah, from mm -hmm. Asia, yeah. Actually, I saw that movie. Very good movie. I really like that. One. Yes. <laughs> Okay, let's check it out. Asia, you say Asia. Good. Very Asia. good. Filipino. Yeah, they also speak something that is called Tagalog. It's very, very rare. They right? speak. They speak Spanish and Portuguese also. Yeah, yeah, it's because yes. uh, some there was a colony from Spain there, so they, their names are very Spanish. And yes, Spanish. yes, they are. Yeah, it's it's very interesting. Very good. Let's check the next one. Have an, a really a wonderful prevailing atmosphere of tolerance and understanding. And I feel that my own experience is proof of that. And actually, it makes me feel quite proud to belong to a country where it's like a... What about this? French. French. Very good. Any other guess? Okay, let's check. Let's see how it goes. Scottish. Scotland. Yes, Scotland. All right, let's go to the next one. A lot of accents here, you can see. And said, so, well, tell me about yourself. And this interview went on and on and on. I mean, when I arrived, she said, if you've got your car on a metre, because you're going to be here three hours. I said, three hours? I don't even know what the job is. So this interview went on for about two hours. She asked me absolutely everything about, I don't know, what my interests were when I was... What do you think about this? Japan. Japan. English. English. In England. 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 Half from England. Okay, let's see. 
Yeah, English. Birmingham. Nice. Let's go to the next one. Oh, I've had my Twitter since March 2010. That's been a long time. I was about 12, 11 or 12. Yeah, not gonna do the math, but yeah, I was young. So there are probably some pretty stupid stuff. What about this one? I didn't catch it. You didn't, okay? Sounds like American. American. Yeah. Okay, let's see how it goes. Yeah, American, Southern. Yeah, nice. Let's check the next one. Where me and the girl I was seeing at the time had seen a mutual friend that we hadn't seen in about a year. And she said to me that she was wearing the same clothes that she was wearing last time we saw her about a year ago. And I was very confused by this. I said, how do you remember what she was wearing? Okay, hey, what about this one? Very clearly. I'm sorry? England? England. Any other guess? Other American? American. American. Australia. Canadian. Canadian. <laughs> that was Canadian. Good. Let's check the next one. Carl was telling a story and he said, um, blah, blah, blah. And, um, uh, the next door neighbors who who kept a horse in their house anyway they'd gone away for the weekend and we were like whoa what they kept a, they horse, kept a uh... horse in the house and he's like yeah anyway and he didn't realize that was the interesting part of the story he just thought that was a okay what about this german german united states american Let's see. English. That was from Bristol. Different regions. Bristol. In yeah. <laughs> Let's go for the next one. Uh, no, no, it's uh, wonderful. But it's just, you know, it's the best day of the year, this. This is the best day of the year without a shadow of a doubt. You know, you can spend your life playing and in golf things and I don't I mean I do a few I came back and I did Fergie's golf day but um but this is the greatest because you know that you're doing what about this sounds like American I don't know <laughs> American yeah let's check it out then Irish Northern Irish as well yeah there are two Ireland's you know so this is Ireland from the north let's go to the next one oh, no yeah I'm I'm just excited to be um like just doing this again because I haven't done promo or released music where I've gone out to promote it for a long time like I've released a lot of music and stuff like that but um it's just good to be back out on the road and back in the scene and um, going on tour again. <laughs> oh, quite difficult. <laughs> yeah. Any guess? Some kind of European. Very <laughs> bad English. <laughs> Very bad pronunciation. Wrong <laughs> about Arabian. I don't know. <laughs> Arabic. Okay. Let's yeah, see. Arabic. Let's see. New Zealand. New Zealand. New Zealand. <laughs> Similar to Australian, actually. Okay, let's go to the next one. The push to say, okay, maybe this might be the chance to do it. And then I, I kind of teased the audience a bit the following year by asking them what they thought about whether I, I should participate or not. You know, what they thought if I would participate. And I had a, another boast of um, very, very good comments. And then... Uh, Italian? Italian. 
or something like that. Not far from them. Sounds like England. England, Italy. Okay. Let's see. Maltese. Maltese. Ah, very good because in Malta they speak also uh, a little bit of Italian. Nice. Yes. Good. Perfect. Let's go to the next one. We almost finish. Oh, actually, that is it. Okay. So, uh, what do you think about this exercise? I mean, did you see how many accents do we have? Yes, very interesting because uh, by all means, the most important thing is that you make you on the stable. Yes. And uh, uh, actually, it doesn't matter the, the accent. I, again. Okay. So, yes, uh, there are a lot of accents. That is similar to Spanish. I mean, if you go to Argentina, to Colombia, if you go to Panama, it's Spanish, but it's different, right? So, mm -hmm. there are different words, different accents. Like different... in Spain, there is some different. Yeah, I mean, there oh. inside of Spain, I mean, in each to... province, uh -huh. in each province in Spain, there is all the people speak different. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that is it. Exactly the same happens with English. I mean, English is very popular. A lot of people they speak English, but the accent, I mean, uh, sometimes is even if the words are correct in me and things that one is difficult to understand. It's very, very difficult. And besides between the, uh -huh, go ahead. Between, the, between the Americans, they also they they know when for example to New York comes some someone from North Carolina because the accent is different. So true. So that is it. I mean, uh, accents are very important. If you are going to travel to other countries, you need to investigate that one. Besides the accents, uh, the other problem that we have is the idioms. I mean, yes, every country has their own words for different things. I have a friend, you know, he graduated from the university from English. Uh, he was very good. He understood a lot of things. And he went to work to Canada. He said that he just get off the plane and he didn't understand anything. Nothing at all. He was lost. People, he they were speaking and he they used a lot of words that he didn't know. He understood the pronunciation, the, the uh, accent, but not the words. So that happens a lot. I mean, that happens a lot in all the countries. Here, I mean, it's because we know the words. But I, I believe that my, maybe when you come here to El Salvador, you... Uh, you, you were it like... was terrible. It was terrible. <laughs> Starting with Chucho, and you know, <laughs> everything with Che, me see how it was terrible. <laughs> so, yeah, that happened. And, and you know, I, I think it is also very difficult in the United States, you know, the Black population, they speak some slang and very, very bad English. So true. So and true. and they are always shouting to everybody, shouting, shouting. Yeah, I mean that that is also something that happens. I mean, uh, if you see a, on on the movies, whenever you see a movie, you see yes. black people. They speak in different ways, right? They have different ways to talk to Contra walk. Contracted words. I love, <laughs> I love. And they understand each other, uh, and you are like, okay, um, that's fine, of, of course, right? So, uh, but I believe that it's easier. I mean, I, I, in my opinion, in my opinion, the most difficult are the Chinese and the Indians. Uh, those yes, guys. Yes, it is true. It is true. Yeah, that those are very difficult. Pronunciation, accents, everything. Uh, ah, that is very hard. Okay. Very good. So yes, teacher, but many people in many countries spoke spoken English. 
in a image it was a variations but is a language global a global language many people speak in english and you can understand something so true uh, actually if you speak with, with somebody in english but in latin america you will see that you understand a lot but it's because of the accent that is very similar and also because we speak spanish right so that happens that happens a lot very good good exercise so we, but got... we speak slow i i heard um other countries um and uh, they tell um salvadorian speak slow they say that's true yeah uh, <laughs> a lot of latin american countries we speak the problem is that sometimes i i guess that this is the problem the problem is that you go and speak with other people but you you didn't finish the english class you you are still in intermediate and you you want to speak slow so everybody understands right so that is one of the reasons that happens good very good uh we're going to continue doing some exercises like that one so we have a few more minutes and we're going to do free practice now yes we're going to do free practice uh before that one the homework for this Friday. Remember to bring two or three words. Explain the words in English, of course, and give examples. And the other homework that we're going to do uh, on this one is bring and tell, okay? I guess we did that before, so we're going to repeat that uh, this module. Bring and tell. The bring and tell is that you are going to bring something to the class, and explain what is that. It can be anything. It can be a flower. It can be a, your pet, your animals. It can be a place. I mean, you can take a picture and show the picture of the place or people, a person that is important for you. And then you are going to explain. This is like this and this and this. And I, I decided to bring this because of this and this and this. So that is the homework for this Friday. Okay. No, very clearly. Perfect. So now we're going to do a free practice. I'm going to choose some people. Let's see. Um, only I, I can clarify. Go ahead. Um, the homework is any any topic. Any, any topic I can speak for. Uh, well. Since the name of the activity is bring and tell, it means that you are going to come to the class and show to the camera something. Mm. And then explain what is that something, why it's important for you, things like that. Okay. okay. And if you want to speak about a person or a place or anything like that, you can show a picture and that's it. Okay. Good. Uh, any other question regarding the homework? Teacher, uh, describe the the person, the or the or or a pet or or a place. Uh, well, yeah, you are going to describe the object or the person or the picture and explain why this is important for you. That will do. Good. Any other question about the homework? Okay. So we're yes, going teacher. to. Uh, go ahead. I'm sorry. And uh, repeat it, please. Uh, what is a homework? Yeah. Uh, Besides the words that you are going to bring, uh, you have to bring something. It can be an object, it can be a flower, it can be a picture of a person or a place anything that you want to speak about and you are going to describe the person or the place or the object and tell the class why this is important for you. Good. Any Thank other question? Teacher. It's a pleasure. Yes. Any question? Any other about the homework? Okay, let's practice then. Let's see, um, 
Carla Vázquez. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? Uh, hello. I'm sorry. Hello, hello, teacher. Yeah, hello, how are you? I'm fine. Very nice. How was your weekend? Well, my weekend was funny because I shared with my family uh, um, last Sunday. Uh, I was uh, spent time with my family. Uh, in we 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 were a celebration uh that anniversary uh, uh, how do you say uh, anniversary the uh, wedding anniversary wedding anniversary yeah uh, wedding anniversary uh, of my Cousin was a great time. Okay, very good. So you made like a party or it was just a dinner? Uh, it was a beach party. <laughs> ah, okay, very good. And uh, what did you do? What did you eat? Tell us about that. Okay. Um, what's a different dishes? Because it was a was a uh, uh, was a different menu in okay. a fried fish and is a slight fish is is called a slight fish uh -huh. and a slight chicken and soup and a seafood and a different seafood it was a uh, depend of in invited invited yes invited yeah yes was a depend invited that um want to eat and how many people were there and twenty five oh family. it was very good nice yes, uh, only the close family that was only the close family twenty five that's good <laughs> <laughs> Nice, that's good. Yeah. And what time did you finish? What? What time did you finish? Ah, and for for four p.m. for okay. p.m. to with a breakfast and. Eight thirty. Okay, so you started at eight thirty, and Jen, you finish at four, around four. Yes. Okay. Very good. Very interesting. Thank you. I, I saw your your cat over there. What is the name of your cat? Oh yes, I have two cats. It's two a cat. girls. Yes, two cats. Two girls. No, boy and girls. So do do they have kittens? No, no. <laughs> not permitted. No, not permitted. No. <laughs> okay, very good. What are their names? Garlic and onion. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. That's yes, be because her their mother names uh, was uh, ginger. Okay. Good. <laughs> <Got it. laughs> yes. That's a good, a good thing. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Carla. Thank you, teacher. Nice. Let's see. Maria Elena. Yes, sir. Hey, how are you? Mm, I so bye. <laughs> All right. I see that you have three names. What is your favorite name? Mm. It's a difficult one. Um, 
in my house always call me Lupita, but um, I have a friends call me Maria Elena or Elena. And all my names, I like all my names. <laughs> Okay, so you don't it's a have difficult a choice one. <laughs> I I don't have a favorite. It's difficult choice. <laughs> okay, very good, perfect. And uh, where do you live? I live in Cuscatancingo. Cuscatancingo, very good, nice place to live. And uh, do you? Uh, where do you work? Mm, I'm work. From for Fundación Educo. Um, before I work at Santiago de Maria. Later I work at San Miguel. And these days I work at San Vicente. Okay. So you have been working very far away, <laughs> yeah. Yes, very far. <laughs> And uh, where was harder? I mean, which of the cities where you have worked is harder? San Miguel. <laughs> San Miguel, right? Yeah, definitely. Yes. Is it very, very hard there? It's very, very hard. You know, it's horrible. But I see the people in the morning in Mount June or June with sweater and oh, really? i am the people is crazy <laughs> and <laughs> the people say is is a cold cold yeah i am not, I'm not a cold i have a very hot <laughs> <laughs> yeah i i have it, never is, uh, for me it's a crazy yeah, yeah, I, I know it's, it's very, it's very uh, different. I, I mean, I live in Santa Ana and here it's hot, but I know that if I go to San Miguel, uh, oh, that it's is horrible. And Usulutan is, is, is hot too, but um, I don't know how do you say it in English, but but it's uh, hot, húmedo. Uh, it's hot and wet. In, in Usulutan, hot and wet in Usulutan. Mm, that's strange. Eh? But in the coast. And uh, okay. the part of north is uh is a uh, like a uh, climb because uh Berlin, Alegría, Santiago de Maria is is a good climb. Ah, okay, so the weather there is nice. Yes, weather is nice, but in the coast is horrible. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I went to the beach a few weeks ago and I remember it that it was so hot. That it was very difficult even outside, right? Even when you are, I'm, I don't know, uh, not on the sun, but outside, and, and it was very hot. I don't know, it was crazy. And uh, yes. they say I was in, really. I'm sorry. Go ahead. In a place uh, called Santa Elena in Sultan is many trees, but it's a very hot in. Humedo, I don't know how I lo olvidé, I forgot it. Wet. Wet, wet, hot. Wet, hot. Okay. In Santa Elena. Maria Elena, but the people in Santa Elena is very, very friendly. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> the, my, I have a friend when. My family. <laughs> go to San Miguel. Uh, she arrived with a sweater in the morning. She is a one I'm not say, oh, it's freezing. I know, I know it's freezing, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The name so, is Carmelina. I, she is living in Santa Elena. Uh, sure, she's the one who lives there. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I know that, and, and you know, probably the problem is that the people they they get used to the weather, right? So, but when you go from one country or from one city to other city, you can see the difference, right? Yes. I mean, yes, I see. For example, in the movies, people are under the snow and they are just wearing a little sweater, and that's it, right? Yes. Yeah. 
And if, I mean, if you go to the mountains here in, in November, you are like dying, right? So it's like, so, but that, that will be. My, uh -huh. I have an uncle living in Canada. Yes, uncle. And she come, come here and travel to Trifinho. And she say, oh, it's hot here. It's cool. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens. So we get adapted to anything that may, may yeah. be over there. Okay. Very good. Perfect. Thank you, Maria Elena. <laughs> Thank you. Perfect. So my friends, I was wondering, do you have any questions about the class of tonight? No questions. Very good. Good practice tonight. We did different things and that is very good. So now we're going to check the attendance. Let me just get there. Okay. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present teacher. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Good. Alejandra Michelle Hueso Najera. Present teacher. <clears throat> Ana Selmi Chavez. Present. Good. Edwin Alexander Ayala Eraso. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Maybe Coromoto García de Calderón. Present. Good. Manuel Antonio Palma. María Elena Guadalupe Peñate Escobar. Present. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Good. Silvia Zuleima Rodríguez de González. Present. Thank you. Silvia Zuleima Rodríguez de González. Present. Good. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good night. Good night. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta Ochoa. Present. Good. Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you tonight. I hope you have a very good night. Rest very well. See you tomorrow. Yeah, very good night. night. Tomorrow. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Thank you. Bye. Night. Best. Go to the stack. Yeah.